I get asked about creams and do creams work. So I always tell my patients, if creams work for you, please use the creams because energy-based devices, not cheap. And if you add a cream to your regime, it makes our job a little bit easier because you're stimulating a little bit less. There are basically three kinds of creams. We've got the antioxidants. It decreases the inflammation of which vitamin C is the most famous, but there are plenty of antioxidants that decrease the oxidative stress, protects against the sun damage, and so it suppresses the production of melanin. Now, remember, melanin is produced to protect the skin from sun damage. If I decrease the oxidative stress, then the skin doesn't need to produce so much melanin, so it controls the pigmentation a little bit. Then we have the tyrosinase inhibitors. We doctors use hydroquinone, which is a prescription-only drug, but we have kojic acid, abutin. You know, these are much milder. You can buy them over the counter. They block the tyrosinase pathway. They basically poison it. So what happens is in the melanocyte, the pigment-producing cell, there is a pathway that produces melanin. We can block this pathway a little bit so it doesn't produce so much melanin but we can't use too much because it's really a poison of the cell. So you can't put too much, if not you get all the side effects of burns and unwanted effects. Then we have the third type. It's a melanocyte stimulating receptor agonist. The pituitary gland in the brain produces a hormone called melanocyte stimulating hormone, MSH for short. Now this hormone goes around the body. It goes onto the receptor on the surface of the melanocyte and it tells the melanocyte, hey, produce more melanin. So this cream looks like the MSH, but it's not really the MSH. It sits on top of the receptor, it blocks the MSH from activating the cell. So the cell doesn't get so much hormone from the pituitary gland and it doesn't produce so much melanin. So those are the three kinds of creams. And what we try and do is we try and balance your treatment with a little bit of these creams, not too much, but just nice, so that you don't have so much pigmentation being overproduced by the melanocyte. When you have melasma, these melanocytes are a little bit overactive. They're a little bit more active than normal. That's why it's producing too much pigmentation. So if you can suppress it a little bit, it helps. In summary, creams, use them judiciously. If it doesn't work, then you have to use them in conjunction with energy-based devices to clear up pigmentation because if it's not going to work and you keep using the creams, it's going to get darker and darker and more active and it's much more difficult for us to clear.